Hello everybody, welcome back to Oblivion. Welcome back to Sky Ruler Temple. We still have old Martin over there hanging out, staring into the fire, wearing the armor that I stole first. And apparently the only reason I got it was so he could wear it himself. We have a few things we need to get into today. We need to go tell the Countess of Bruma that uh, that old Mart's here wants to meet with her. Okay, fine. Hey. Who hailed me? Was that Martin? All right, Martin, we'll do your job for you. We'll tell the Countess that you want to meet her. I think we have to tell her a little bit as well. I think he's, I think Martin's, God, they are so noisy in that armor. Good evening, sir. Good evening, let's get out of here. Uh, I think that Martin is a little bit too nervous to go in and, and start talking to her right away. So we need to get in and we need to tell her kind of what's going on. Maybe, are we prefacing this at all? Or are we just telling her, hey, You've got a war room. Uh, Martin wants to meet you there. <laughs> Go wait for him. We also need to level up. Should we level up first? Should we level up right? We could walk right over there. I mean, Bruma's right there, but let's let's make things just a little bit faster, shall we? Let's head over to the Bruma North Gate. Which which one of these has an inn? I can't remember. I think there was an inn just south of the castle. Now that I've already done this. We are just south of the castle right now. That's good. And there was an inn. It was here or it was just on the next road. Nordwinds. That wasn't the inn. Um, that is not it either. Was this it over here? The Jaral View. I think this is an inn. Uh, the Jaral View Inn. It sure is. All right, let's get a little bit of a nap in just before we get things started. Hello. Hey, Halfid. Just enough to get a rest going. I heard that you helped the guard close that oblivion gate. Thanks. We were getting worried about that damn thing. Great. Good to know. Does that mean that I get a discount for getting a bed? There's a most comfortable bed just downstairs. A wonderful room and nicely priced at 25 gold a night, if you're interested. All right, not a great price, not a bad price. It is downstairs, though. This is the first inn that it's ever been downstairs. I'll take Excellent. it. Excellent. It's just down the stairs there. The door is impossible to miss. I'm sure you'll sleep very well. Does he seem kind of, like, cagely angry with us, even though he's smiling a little bit? I wonder what his attitude All is. All right. Okay. His disposition is maxed. Again, at just above pure ambivalence. Just... He almost doesn't care one way or the other. Is the... Are all the innkeepers are always at 50? And he's he's at 56 only because I've done something for Bruma? Maybe. Goodbye. That could that could be the case. All right, let's go downstairs. Can we go in here? Nope. No, let's, let's actually go downstairs. A uh, wooden door. This is the door to Bruma. He did say... He did say downstairs, didn't he? Are we going to go upstairs? We're going to go upstairs. Did I miss here? Or did he actually... No. No, he actually did say downstairs. I just have to... I have to guess the right door. Buddy, could you not tell me the door to go downstairs? Um, alright. We got a little distillery here. Becoming a theme lately. Is this it? Wooden door to the inn. We're in the inn. Oh, oh dear lord, this is awful. This is this is your super comfy bed? Just making people sleep in the cellar? Alright, well I guess this is ours. It actually looks pretty nice. I don't know how you're supposed to sit on these chairs. <laughs> Look at how short that chair is. Alright, let's take a nap. We want to sleep for one hour is fine. Because all we're interested in is leveling up. Good lord, look at this. This might be the best level we've ever gotten. Are we still going to go for willpower? We go for speed. Speed is two this time instead of just one. But we'll give up that plus three. Let's, let's go for willpower. And strength as well. Because that's kind of how we've been doing it all along. Alright, we're rested and we're leveled. We're ready to go. Wait, the doors do not like to close afterwards. Really have to go through some effort to get that to happen. Half it? It was a beautiful rest. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, I think we're just about ready to get on with things. 
Beautiful. Um, and now we need to talk to the Countess. Is she right here? Oh, God. We are right on top of things. Beautiful. Well, great. At least we don't need to walk too far to get to where we need to. Not for the first time, though. I wish we did have a better sprint button. Has he always been screaming? I remember seeing him before, but I don't remember him being stuck mid-sneeze. I'm a very good sculptist that they, they could remember what he looked like uh, in, in the middle of that unfortunate sneezing fit. All right, is that her on the throne? Oh, she's talking to someone. Is this scripted or can we just interrupt? Oh, oh, she's got some, some, why has she got blades in there? Or, or blades, swords, I guess it's this. Why has she got the katanas in there? What's her relation to that? And a, maybe an ancient know. blades. What is this? A ruined Akaviri shield. Wait a minute. Is the blade stuff all based off of the Akaviri? Why is this one locked? You let me look at the shield, but not the swords. It's what a pleasure here? to see you. Nothing. It'll be a pleasure to see you in just a moment. I want to look. What is this? Too bad they're all Please, locked. By all <laughs> we, means. We don't interact with locks. All right. Oh, it is Bird. Who should we talk to first? Bird? Let's let's have a quick conversation with Bird. Good day to you. Before uh, Countess Narina here. What do you want? Oh. Again, he seems pretty angry for that smile he's got on. How? What's your disposition? We'll see. 56 and it's maxed it, it all feels wrong aid for bruma bruma in general countess of bruma we'll talk about her right in front of her hey what do you think of the countess of bruma bird what are your real feelings on her she holds public audience in the great hall on weekday mornings if you need to speak to her that's the time to do it Okay, good to know. Uh, aid for Bruma, does he still want the help of all the Jarls? None of the other cities have sent aid. Bruma stands alone. Yeah. Yeah, that's because I haven't done my job. Sorry about that. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's let's just talk to Narina here. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? Um, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> do I tell her the battle plans? I guess I do. Oh, I can buy a house here. Chancellor Okado. All sorts of stuff we can start into. Let's just go with the battle plan. So we've got some plans, and they involve using your city to make a huge gate so that we can steal a little rock from the gate. How do you feel about that? A desperate plan indeed. This prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? Yep. <laughs> yeah, he would. He's He needs his necklace back. This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me, but what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? The hero is me. Don't get it confused. It's not Martin. Hey, what do you mean, sit back and wait? You're a countess. You're supposed to be ruling your city. And that involves protecting it. Narina, I'm not impressed with you. Uh, Martin waits at the chapel. Go go talk to the battle priest, please. He's got it in his blood. He'll win for you, I promise. You avoid answering my question. <laughs> Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. Okay, all right. So I didn't see any bad. Are there battles going on continually? Excuse me, I have to go first. Uh, bird, uh, after me, please. Are there still battles going on in front of Bruma and they're just constantly closing the gates? Oh, after you, apparently. Does that mean that if if I go there, we can kind of constantly get all of the, the alchemy ingredients from, from the whip snap vines that constantly whack me in the face every time I try to walk past them? I kind of want to go out in front of Bruma now just to... Spare a coin for the infirm? Always. I'm so hungry. 
could sell half your nose for a coin. You've got more to spare. Thank you, kind sir. All right, you're fine. Go have a beautiful day. Blessings of upon ye. Um, let's go out. Oh, is this the, is this the temple we need to go to? Is this it? <laughs> is this it? Yeah, she's on her way. She's just taking a very circuitous route to it. No, that's the that's the inn, the Great Chapel of Talos. Where are we meeting? I've already missed. I've already missed it. I told the Countess of Martin's plans. She reluctantly agreed and is going to meet Martin at the Chapel of Talos. When I am ready for battle, I should inform the Countess. So that's it. That is the one. The Chapel of Talos. Hello. Hi, Logvar. Go ahead, please. What? What do you think of this beautiful town? What do you think of my plans to kind of risk it just a little bit? I need a rock. I really need that rock. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with the mean ones. Okay. So he's... Is he a guard in this doublet? All right, fine. What rumors have you heard, Logvar? Alga sure can tell a good story. I'm not normally a big fan of Bard's tales, but... She's got some good ones. Interesting. All right. None of that was actually that. It Go ahead. It's 56. We can make it better. You know what? I want to do it just because he doesn't look important. And I need someone to have a better view of me than, than this guy. All right. It's slowly dropping. Very happy. Meh. Very angry about it. Um, Let's let's give... Nah. Sorry. That. Goodness. What can I say? Um, That You're, and then this. I can't argue with that. Okay, we've gone up by two points. Good, Goodbye. Good job, Logbar. It was a pleasant conversation. Very happy to have had it with you. So should we just go in immediately, or is it better to... Is it better to, to go gather all the other Jarls, right? Miss Karkand. Oh, these are completed quests. I don't care about that. Uh, defense of Bruma, yes. Allies for Bruma. Joffrey's worried that the Bruma Guard will not be able to defend Bruma. Should we do this first? Tell you what, how about we just do this? How about we come here and right in front of the Chapel of Talos, we'll just kind of do a, maybe this needs to be saved because we might be pushing things a little bit fast here. All right, it is after us. After me, please. All right. And then if this is a mistake, if we were actually supposed to go and get all of the other Jarls, we, we can always go do that. All right, Martin, I've got her. She'll be through the door at any minute. When you're ready for battle, the Countess will order her man to stop closing the gates outside the city. Um, what are your plans? What kind of Daedric magic do you have? Oh, these are all things he's said before, except for the battle plans. I don't know why they're not grayed out. Battle plans, Martin, I guess I'm ready. We must allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to open three lesser gates outside Bruna. According to the plans you captured from those spies, they need three lesser gates open before they can open a great gate. The great gate will allow them to bring out the siege machine to blast the walls of Bruma, just like at Kavach. But it's our only hope to get the great sigil stone we need to complete the ritual. You'll have to act swiftly when the great gate opens. All right, great gate opens, we jump right in. That's how this works. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. So that's it? Hey, she's still... It's still marking her as an important quest person? All right, let's 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 listen to her. We'll let her talk. We'll see if there's anything that we need to progress the story Your here. Highness, I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne thank you for coming i know i am asking for a great deal of trust but this is the only way i would not suggest it otherwise your champion has already explained the situation to me i have agreed to it we will not win this war through caution you have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom i will do everything in my power to defend your city my lady if Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. 
How does the Empire fall? It's one city. You guys have put a, a lot of importance on this city. It's not even a big city, right? There's all the other cities. Honestly, if this city falls, I would say the whole country falls. But tiny little Bruma? You could sneeze this off the map. Maybe they'll come through. Maybe that's what's going to happen. If their siege engine is actually a dragon, he's just going to sneeze Bruma right off the map. All right. On we go, then. Is it still telling me to go into that? Oh, my God. Did I not actually activate anything? Who do I need to talk to? It's not Marty. I need to talk to Narina again? All right, Narina, I have... Here, have a crown. I will call out my militia if necessary. But must we truly stand alone? I don't think we can survive the Daedric onslaught. Ah, let the battle begin! Okay, so this is it, right? This is the choice we have. So we really do need to go get more allies. Is this going to be like a quest for each ally? I go to a, I go to a different holds and they're like, Oh, well, you know, there's frost trolls that have been giving us a big problem. And can you go take care of them first? Sure, you know what? I'll get you more allies, Narina. Thank you. I know that delay is dangerous, but it is all for naught if we lose the battle before you can recover the Great Sigil Stone. I mean, I guess there's some truth to that, right? If I'm trying to recover the Sigil Stone, Hail. and they, 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 the Daedric forces defeat Bruma and they just close the gate with me on the inside of it, uh, I don't think that ends well for me. That's that's probably probably the worst thing that could happen to the hero. All right, we need to go change our quest then. What we actually need to do, we need to get some allies for Bruma. There we go. Um, perhaps I can persuade the Elder Council in the Imperial City or the guilds to help. I kind of, kind of like the idea of getting all the guilds to help more than the guards of the Imperial City. That's what we're going to try to do. All right, that's our active quest. Let's see where we need to go then. Imperial City Palace. Um, is it not gonna tell me? There we go. Castle Skingrad. All right, so this is this is getting the guilds, and this is this is getting the <laughs> the guard. Let's get the guilds. Oh, Chayden Hall. It's been a while since I've been there. Let's let's go to Chayden Hall. We'll get some mages to help us. All right, perfect. Where where do I need to go in here? I'm trying to follow the marker. It's... Oh, okay. Let's just head straight north then. What is with the pavers? Alright. Bizarre, but cool looking. Okay. We're getting close to someone. Yes? What... Are you about to have a conversation with the flowers? I can steal them. What's, uh, Garrus, what are you, who are you waiting for, friend? What do you want? Um, give me a rumor. If, if there's no honest conversation to have with you, give me a rumor at I least. I heard that some cult called the Mythic Dawn is behind the Emperor's assassination. Yes, good God, like... Yes? Uh, only 51. All right, I, I like that the Goodbye. only rumor he has for me is something we found out. Hello. In the first 10 minutes of the game. All right. Could this be it? Wooden door to the pri to private quarters. All right. What time is it? It's 7 at night. Do I actually need to, to wait around here? I think that's going to be it. Yeah, we can't. All right. We're going to have to wait a little bit real quick. Um, Can you not wait unless, unless you're in a chair? I don't know if I've ever... We're going to wait on the throne. I'm sure the guards will have nothing to say about this. Okay, uh, we will, at some point, get rid of that helmet. I promise, as soon as we can find a helmet that's not awful, <laughs> we'll, we'll get another one. It does need to be stronger than this, at least as strong. Do they have, like, dragon plate and whatnot in Oblivion? I don't know. I hope they do. Well, they, they probably still have the Dradic stuff, right? The Daedric stuff, sorry. They probably still have the Daedric stuff. Um, all right, nobody kicked me off the chair at all, all evening long. Get treated well as a uh, 
as a hero. Let me tell you. Still can't go in there. It's easy. We could probably use our spell to bust that lock, but... I want to get in trouble if I'm trying to get help. What time is it? Is it like 8 in the morning? Get up! It, it, you've been in there for over 12 hours. Beauty sleep is one thing. And honestly, resting your mind and being prepared to lead a city is another thing, but... I think you're taking it a little bit far. Let's give her two more hours. Him? Her. Whomever it is. Oh. Are we in your chair? Here, let me get up. I've only been waiting 12 hours for you. All right, bonehead. Count Endel. Indarius. I don't have time to chat right now. With that oblivion gate looming outside the city walls, we're bracing for an attack. Perhaps we can speak later. <laughs> Perhaps you can go back to sleep. That seems to be the way you've been trying to deal with this so far. We need aid for Bruma. I can buy another house. All right, let's get some aid for Bruma. My first responsibility is to the people of Chadenhall. They look to me for protection in these dark times. With an open oblivion gate just outside our walls, I cannot risk weakening Chadenhall's defenses, even for such a worthy cause. All right, so we were, we were kind of half right here. It's not Frost Trolls, but we do need to complete a quest for him. Fine, what about the oblivion gate? Not long ago. One of those foul gates manifested itself just outside the west gates of our city. Nothing's come out of it yet, but we fear the worst. My son, Farwell, has taken some knights and entered the gate bravely in hopes of meeting the enemy head-on. If you want to help, and we can use all the help we can get, head over to the gate and lend a hand to the guards. Okay, we can do that. It, Honestly, Count Andel, it's... Not ended well you for too. for the last armed man I followed into an oblivion gate. I hope your son's doing well. It's going to be the same thing all over again. The son is going to be the only guy who runs up to me at the end. All right, straight to business. There's the oblivion gate. Saves me the trouble of trying to find it. Where's paint? Is that paint right there? Normally he's hanging out with me. Waiting for me just outside the uh, the gate. All right, Paint, we've got somewhere to go. Uh, there you go. Can Paint jump? Oh, how are you supposed to... <laughs> you actually have to open the gate and get him out? Well, at least you can open the gate from on, on top of your horse. That's kind of nice. Before we head to battle, there's something else we need to check. We've leveled up, but we have not looked at our equipment. 58. Well, good God. I'm glad we checked. 10 repair hammers? Depending on how many repair hammers we get, we might need to go back out and grab some more. 79. Uh, get them all into 80s. I mean, 90s. That's what I meant. Okay, that's good. We didn't break a single one. That's actually really good. Let's, let's do a chicken save because of that. Kind of nice, actually. All right, honestly... Um, beautiful butterflies and, and gorgeous meadows aside from things. If the Oblivion Gate was that close and I could see the flames and fire from them, from my dinky little walled-in gate, I don't think I'd be hanging around just doing my normal job. Maybe she loves horses that much, right? Maybe she just can't leave a horse unattended to face the dangers of the gate. That's probably what's going on. Quest updated. The Wayward Knight. I've come upon an Oblivion Gate dominating the landscape outside the walls of Chadenhall. A few Chadenhall guards seem to be patrolling its perimeter. I should approach one of them and see if I can render any assistance. Make this my active quest. I mean, sure, why not? It is kind of what I need to do. They're less patrolling and more just standing there. Is he gonna come right up and activate? Yeah, yep, here he comes, he's ready to talk. How far do you think you could lead this guy? If you wanted to lead him halfway across the map, could you do it? <laughs> could we lead him right through the gate? You do have to activate the gate, which is a shame. I'd advise you to keep your distance from that accursed portal. All right, Eminus, I'm headed into the portal. You want to come with me? Oblivion Gates. Who is this? Have we come across Wright Nithen Landalus? Wright Lathandus is one of the greatest painters in all Cyrodiil. Sadly, he's 
gone missing, his wife Tivola is beside herself with grief. Eminus. Eminus, do you not see that big gate to your right? Is, is this really the time to talk about a missing painter? Oh my god. The Oblivion Gate. Yes, that huge thing. Haven't you heard about these gates to Oblivion opening up all over Tamriel? I feel like there's a a solid miscommunication between the two of us. Yes, I've heard of them. Don't tell me any more about it, please. Well, then you know what they're capable of producing. Although nothing has come through ever since Farwell it. All right. Farwell is obviously this man we need to go find. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, Farwell, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. We haven't heard from them since then. The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. And so far, nothing. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. If you find him, or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn, get them out of there. I'm sure the Count would also be pleased if the gate was closed. Okay, let me do everything for you. Let's not ask about Chayden Hall anymore. Knights of the Thorn, we don't need to ask about either. Two days. Nary a word. So it I sounds the worst. I'm you know what? I'm I'm trying to talk to the voices in my head here for just a moment, if you don't mind. Sounds like we've got three things. One, rescue the Count's son. Two, uh, maybe bring back some guards. And three, probably most importantly, let's close the gate. Quest updated. I've stepped through the Oblivion Gate outside of Chaden Hall and now find myself in the dreaded plain of Oblivion. My only chance to destroy the gate and return home would be obtaining the Sigil Stone in this plain citadel. I should make my way there now. All right, all right, perfect, we can do that. Do I obtain the Sigil Stones? I thought I just kind of deactivated them. Look, it's the Whippy plant I was talking about. Is this not the Whippy? Oh, it is the Whippy one, Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Fallen Knight of the Thorn number one. Friendo, you didn't even make it down the steps. What have you got though? Steel short sword, steel boots, no helmet. No helmet and a little bit of gold. We're going to leave you with everything. We're not going to take it. If you had potions or something, I might take those, but we'll we'll, we'll leave you with your, your paltry five gold bit. Hello? <laughs> that I don't even know why you walked through the gate with. What was that? Is that supposed to just draw my attention to like, hey, there, there might be a cave or something down there. You should go look. There might be a cave or something down there. Oh, wait a minute. Is th there's no way to get down there. Oh, there it is. It just doesn't look like it. I do like this one a little... Ooh. Why didn't I have my sword out? Ah. I do like this one a little bit more. I, I like the fact that it, it is just a little bit more random and there's not a, a straight, solid way to go through, like a path telling you exactly where to go. What was the rock slide we heard, though? I guess this would be right below where we came in. Um, all right. Got, like, some sort of man-made or, or Daedra-made structure there. I don't know what it is, though. We're definitely on the right way. Hello? Ooh, good... All right, we got one more, I think, before we can make it to her. There we go. She looks like a troll doll, doesn't she? All right, flame Atronach. Is this a different Atronach than the other one we saw? I almost want to say that the other ones were like male Atronachs, weren't they? It's the first female we've seen? Probably. Well, give me your fire salts. You're done. Ugh. Is this just the demise of all the guard? Oh, no. How big is this place? It's going to be the biggest gate we've gone through yet. Okay, not a pressure plate. Nothing to activate there.
Is there actually anything falling, or is it just the sound just to make me all jumpy and jittery? Okay, well, that's that. We are going to have to enter, I guess, and figure things out from the inside. All right, the door to the bowels. Sure, why not? I have a feeling that we could actually, if we wanted to, just avoid everything here and just kind of, kind of jump on through. Because it looks like it's just going to lead down there anyways, right? Oh, well, let's let's go let's go through the door to the bowels. Maybe there'll be some cool treasure we can pick up on our way through. Well, there's definitely a couple of things to loot right there. What is, what is hissing? I don't like it. Well, now I'm in combat. Something notices me. I don't know what, though. I'm going to have to jump down there. Well, loot's need to happen first free fire salts without even fighting anything for that one some potions of sorcery which we're not really going to need more gold though consume health absorb health 20 points on touch we have that one don't we all right should we do another chicken save just to start things out with i don't know what that noise is but something is unhappy ah. with us oh you son of a gun these plant Ooh. Make him fall, please. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, no. <laughs> come on. Oh, now he falls. Well, you know what? I'm taking the claws first because that's one of the most highest value items that's fallen. Oh, fallen in quite some time. All right, so something intelligent is down there other than just a clan fear because something's taken his armor off and might be wearing it to himself. Another repair hammer? Always take that. We're doing pretty good for gold in the Plain of Oblivion. They're just rotten with it. They've got gold everywhere. And they can leave it and plants on the ceiling. All right, so he got one clan fear. Perfect. Okay, who are you? Just another fallen knight, that's all. Payskin shoes, gold, and a longsword. What's the story here? Why no upper armor? Why no armor at all? Is this supposed to be like they've been in here for so long that their own armor has been degrading and they've come back and reappropriated the armor of their comrades? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Could be. All right. An actual Daedra over there. Again, I feel like we could cut off so much of this just by of jumping down a little bit but number one can we survive the fall maybe that's a solid maybe number two we'd miss all the game <laughs> we'd miss everything that this plane of oblivion has this beautiful bladed tory gate we would have missed we would not have seen it why is that thing so tall oh just to get my attention so that the flame lady can hit me that's all oh I didn't heal after those clan fears, did I? Oh. Come on. Just jump. It's not even not even the, the enemies of, of the plane of oblivion. Just having to jump up a minor six inches. Not even to my knees. That's that's the biggest obstacle we've come across so far. Okay, we this is the third night then. Ooh. And a summoned creature for me to fight as well, huh? Come come back here, chicken. Jeez. Oh, Alright. One more fire salt. I keep saying we're gonna go back and summon all of these um summon all of these elementals. I never remember to go back to that place our own little tower out on the mountain and summon more. I always forget. Should we take care of him just to take care of him? Can we knock him down? A little bit we can. Boy, too bad we've foregone bows and arrows. Really could have gotten him there. Let's see if we can... I was hoping we could knock him down, but I'll take this as well. Because eventually we're going to be on that trail below, I'm sure. We don't need him standing above, like, 
artillery raining down on us. All right, let's let's find out what's going on with this poor guy. Fallen Knight of the Thorn. More gold. The steel caress. All right. Should we? Should we enter the bowels once again? Or should we see if there's just a? Well, never mind. There is nothing further. Let's enter the bowels once again. Okay, I thought it was a summon before because I saw it do that, but no. Just a, what did he just cast? I'm assuming if I had crossed over that barrier, I would have taken damage, right? Probably. Scamp, give me your skin, please. That's disgusting. I'll take the gold instead. Boy, the architecture of Oblivion, I really don't understand. It's... It's like they've... What is the... What is the purpose of this? Is it supposed to be that there used to be these these great structures and they've all been eaten by the erosion of time? Is that kind of the, the idea here? Is that Oblivion is just older than anything else and they don't even care that it's been eons and eons since they built because they're just going to build more stuff? Is that kind of the... Oh, no. Is that kind of the deal here? Something's after me. Oh, it's a flame atronach. Never would have seen that happening in this flame cavern they've got us in. You know what? Being able to cast a fire behind your back as you run away. That's a good flex. I wish I could do it. Give me your fire salts. And what about you? Do you have gold for me? You do! Ten gold! And a poison of burden. Again, I, I've seen that one before. I, I honestly don't think it's as helpful as the label may lead you to believe. Who's down here? Somebody's in battle with me. There it is. Just a scamp. Just named for how they run away from you in combat. Back here. Show your back to me. I'll make you regret it. Give me your skin. So are we down inside a volcano now? Are we going to get to the point where there's just pits and pits of lava? Ah! It's fine. We're, oh, why did I take the bone? It's fine. We're not digging straight down. We'll be we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we saw before. This is what those lakes were on the other side of the island, and I didn't quite know if it was supposed to be lava or blood. I'm guessing lava. I'm guessing from all the fire. Oh, jeez. I'm guessing from all the fire rock and everything else that that is in fact supposed to be lava. <laughs> Got one. Finally managed to knock someone into something. All right, give me your skin. Oh, you, you can have your skin back. I'm not actually too interested in it. What have we picked up that's so heavy? Uh, oh, right. We've got a whole bunch of stuff that we should have sold from, from fighting the king and whatnot. Uh, we still have the helmet that we shouldn't get rid of immediately. And the calcinator. We should have gotten rid of that as well. Look at all these potions. Look at all of this stuff. All right, we'll get rid of his scamp skin. It's a little bit heavy. Okay, we're going to have to finish this without really picking much up at all. Because we forgot to go get rid of everything before we left. Quest updated. Oh, I seem to have found someone who's alive. I've located Farwill and one other survival of his group. They look wounded and shaken. I should speak to them and learn what's happened here. They did take out a scamp, though. Good for them. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? Oh... Wow, he is a daddy's boy if I ever saw one, isn't he? Knights of the Thorn, are you one of them? We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chadenhall. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. Until now, we numbered only seven. But attack like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at our charge. Huzzah! Okay, well, it looks like there's a few openings, so maybe you should start finding more people. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel 
and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! <laughs> he is really into it. I'll give him that. All right. Let's get you out of here. Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Indoris of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep formation. You'll assault, and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! The Raymond Sweep formation? You mean the coward formation. I'll do all the work, and you'll watch me from behind. Fine. What do you think of me? For you? Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> he loves me. I, I thought he kind of hated me from how he was talking. I guess I am kind of a hero in his eyes. I've, the path is yours. Lead on. I've swept through alone where seven of his men... Oh, why did I do that? Where seven of his men have not been able to. Uh Oh, boom. We don't need this. Get rid of that. You know what, Farwell, if you can remind me of one thing. Don't let me pick up anything else. We'll do a, a quick chicken save. Can he make it? He can make it through. All right, what do you have? No, nothing to pick up. Burgundy. Everyone else had tan. I wonder if there's some sort of uh, meaning to this. Fallen Knight of the Thorn? No, he's just he's just the only guy who gets to wear burgundy, I guess. Uh oh is that one of those fire things? It is, isn't it? It's one of those fireball towers. This is going to be quite a fight in here. All right, excellent. In here, I thought he was actually going to be a chicken. Daedra heart. Should we start dropping stuff to grab a Daedra heart? What kind of weapons do I have to drop? Oh, iron arrows. They don't actually weigh that much. Dwarven short sword. We can drop this. I don't know how many Daedra hearts we have, and that might be a nice thing to pick up if and when we ever get into our alchemy. Wait, that was really easy with three on one odds, wasn't it? Oh, come on. Should we, uh, should we crank that slider back up? Is anyone else feeling a little bit sad about how easy this is? All right, 48 pounds, eight damage. It looks amazing, but we're not going to grab it. All right, let's, let's help. Let's help this guy, because I'm pretty sure the other guy has, uh, has some serious plot armor going for him. I don't think he's going to fall. Um. How? You know what? I'm not going to ask. Knights of the Thorn truly are everything they've boiled themselves up to be. Alright. I think this is just about going to do it for today. I think fighting to the gate was about the best we can hope for. We do have two new friends, and both of them are beat to snot. God, Farwell is beaten up to heck, isn't he? Am I just assuming that he's got plot armor? Does he not really... God, I hope he survives. Uh, anyways, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stop things here for today. Um, and until next time, I will see you then.